Welcome to another ep- <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Welcome to another episode of uh, what uh, if uh, Blaze of Silver has a thing and what well, instead of uh, going over the Street Fighter one, um, decided to continue uh, the few last uh, original cast of uh, the Silver Age uh, Justice League. Let's be honest, uh, for the Justice Society, I got uh, most most of the more prevalent. Uh, I got that, yes, but and this time uh, we uh, we going for the Martian Manhunter. And because the Martian Manhunter has officially not uh, our original Earth 2 counterpart, I decided to uh, to use uh, the Spectre as a base. It's supposedly warm outside for the the the, uh, the time of the year, eleven degrees. And then again, I'm never good with uh, temperature swings. Well, why did I decide to uh, combine those two? Mostly because both are uh, bare chested superb heroes. The Martian Manhunter is an easy uh, easy one to explain. He is an, uh, uh, a resident of Mars, little green man, and well. With the name of uh, John Jones, John Jones, or whatever. <laughs> uh, well, that's uh, that's been uh, translated to John Jones in uh, in English. And well, the Martian Manhunter can uh, take any shape he wants. That like is all. As. Uh, at times, the laser revisions can, uh, laser beams in the uh, of the eyes can fly, a uh, super strength, durability, and a phobia for fire. That's his only uh, real weakness. I recall that uh, supersonic sounds are, well, also a problem, but that's more things that uh, remove concentration for a Martian Manhunter because in uh, most animated uh, portrayals of the Martian Manhunter they mostly uh, threw away uh, his uh, other powers and focus more on his shape-shifting because well that is uh, a superpower that uh, put him uh, apart from uh, Wonder Woman and Superman. Even uh, from uh, even in his creation, uh, he was. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. On his time of creation, he was more Superman than Superman was. Saying what, uh, and I mean, 
unlike uh, Superman, uh, the Martian Manhunter has uh, no living home to go to. Well, Mars still, uh, well, it's still there in the DC universe. Uh, his uh, original residents are uh, eradicated, mostly because of the war with the White Martians. It's not enough uh, in the Golden Age, uh, sorry, sorry, Golden Age, Silver Age, the Martian Manhunters, uh, the, the Martians also, also had the Yellow Martians. And I won't be surprised uh, the the whole uh, r rainbow color uh, Martians. Which, which I find very odd for a uh, species that can shapeshift. Young Justice, uh, however, uh, they decided uh, to uh, to make uh, Mars uh, inhabitable again. Or in this case, uh, it was never when a big war that uh, removed uh, the Martians. So, in uh, that timeline, uh, John Jones was more an emissary than a superhero. If you think about it, of course, because he does, uh, he was a superhero then. Have a hard time writing, doing muscles. Well, <laughs> my heart is feet so small. <laughs> okay. So, I have a base. The Spectre is of course a uh, far older uh, superhero. It, uh, it started as, an, uh, as a human, uh, Jim Carrion of Carl Garion. I just attended uh, here. So I don't have to look it up on the net, of course, now. Um, but was uh, later, uh, uh, later retconned. I don't know, later enhanced that uh, he is possessed by a uh, fallen angel by the name of, uh, I forgot it, Sarah Fictional. Of course, angels are fictional, but fictional for the, for the Hebrew uh, and... Uh, Judaism uh, cults, but uh, well, was one of the archangels that uh, fought uh, for the independence and lost. And while uh, most of them uh, were happy with a lot, uh, that archangel uh, yeah, wanted redemption and well became, became the uh, angel of wrath. So most of, most of the time, the Spectre, uh, yeah, hunts murderers. But unlike the uh, Martian Manhunter, who hasn't really a uh, noticeable rogue gallery, the Living Flame and uh, Mr. V, the Vultures. I got a collection of the Martian Manhunter from the Silver Age, but even I can't recall <laughs> this rogue gallery there. Most of this rogue gallery were um, uh, green Martians from the future. And, well, of course, his uh, brother. And, well, I mostly despise uh, uh, the New 52. It's been a while. But, yeah, 
Key Hatches, uh, the Martian Manhunter Hatches miniseries, and I liked, uh, personally I liked the plot twist that uh, he went to Mars and found his own species, and, well, it was all a lie, because one of the uh, powers of the Martian Manhunter, that was already uh, established for, uh, for a while, was that, uh, uh, that he was a very gifted telepath. Yeah, so all the uh, the Martian men, uh, Martians, the, he think he was alive. He made up, and they were mostly alive as they could be because he was that powerful as a psychic. That means even the psychic powers of uh, the Martian uh, that were in that world <laughs> were part of him. So if we uh, ever uh, got therapy and let go, well, the Martian Manhunter uh, would be a multiverse buster. But okay, talking about multiverse busters, uh, the Spectre is really one. He can only be harmed by Judaism uh, 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 holy artifacts <coughs> and can uh, chain shift everything around him and itself. So, like the Martian Mentor can grow, but he can also uh, transform uh, people and things that he wants. So, he, uh, he can uh, turn people into uh, rats or burning skeletons and, uh, until, they, uh, until they die and everything else. Yeah, I really sell uh, the Spectre short. Yes, uh, if you think Superman is powerful, well, you haven't met a Spectre. Now, going uh, now with. Uh, Drawing everything for the blaze of silver. Uh, thing we of course uh, go back for the for the uh, yeah, alien background. The thing is, there are no aliens in the blaze of silver universe, as far as uh, the world there uh, knows. They're the only one. So, the alien part can really fly in this part. So, either it has to be a species that uh, that uh, is that's the dominant, or it has to come from another universe. And of course, we go with that. But the Spectre is, of course, an Archangel. And, well, we already have a name for this one. It's Redfall. So, this uh, the superhero goes uh, for, for revenge that people cannot do that anymore. So, in this case, uh, they go, uh, they find justice for people that can't find justice anymore, mostly because they're dead or infirm. So, everything uh, the, the things that uh, Redfall uh, is only a lowly uh, avatar of a uh, god of justice. That died so long ago that he forgot the name of his god, or in this case, goddess. <laughs> I like uh, 
the silhouette of him looks more like he has uh, a beard here. <laughs> yeah, maybe I give him a beard. Uh, okay. Um, of course, you can later uh, redesign them uh, once again, but. Of course, uh, because in the place of Silver World, uh, there are gods, so they can't really be allow stories where gods really can die. Yet only will uh, this power their uh, yep. <laughs> ah, I had to write. Oh, no. No, it's right. I'm really afraid that he uh, is going to look a lot like uh, Cloak from Cloak and Dagger uh, Dagger from Marco in this case, but no, what can you do? Um, Now, in this case, uh, Redfall comes from uh, a universe where the gods really did die because there's uh, from universe ten, and for the for the non-existing people that watch this and are uh, aware with uh, the DC uh, universe. They know what uh, universe ten stands for. It stands for X. And well, because uh, YouTube has been uh, very uh, babyish, I'm not even uh, going to uh, name what the X stands for. But it's a world where the the Allies in World War Two had lost. In this case, uh, it's a world where uh, most most of them all are really based. Even the mortals uh, didn't know that. It's based where uh, yeah, the god Yun Ra was uh, still uh, running the place. There's a world with one all powerful god that isn't tolerable of any misdoing. Likely they will be in the in a few parts because uh, I don't expect this uh, to be completed in half an hour. So, like I said, Redfall is a god. Isn't sorry, is an uh, avatar of a god or a genie, genie. And um, 
the remaining essence of his uh, deity slumbers within him. So he's a lot more powerful than Lilith's arm. I'm going with more as you uh, hopefully a bit, a bit can see for an uh, Egyptian motive. So in this case, uh, this one can't uh, change a lot of forms, but more of the forms is. Uh, A monster that you can transform it into power. If you, uh, people that are a, a bit uh, first in Egyptian, uh, ancient Egyptian mythology, know which monster I'm talking about. If it goes to justice. Mamra! <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Mamra, but I'm uh, sending out Thundercats at the moment. I'm going with the real, with the most triangle motif. Yes, uh, old Egyptian uh, fashion was very feminine, but I'm also going with uh, the thing that uh, most of his powers are, well, from a woman. I don't like about this design is that it's a bit over designed at the moment, but <sighs> it just means if I go with uh, Nabu, Doctor Fate, huh? Hey? Um, uh, I really have to drop the Egyptian team here because we already have one. <laughs> okay. Um, da -ba -da -ba. Like this is uh, a sketch design. I'm not going to uh, to 
Yeah, it's too much in this case. No, I like this one better, so maybe this has to be removed. So, <sighs> da -da. going uh, back to the spectre, like I said, uh, the spectre has a quite a growing, uh, has quite a broke gallery, but yeah, most of them are just. Uh, most of them are planner busters uh, at a minimum. So in this regard, uh, is a bit like the Hulk. His fins are not that subtle. The Spectre and uh, the Martian Manhunter have one thing in common. Not one thing, two can things in common. Or well, more in common, but uh, one of the things they have in common is uh, they have uh, a very small support uh, staff beneath them or among them. Well, Superman has Lewis Lane and Jimmy Olsen and ever uh, and well, Batman has the Robins and Alfred and Wonder Woman has uh, Steve Roger and the whole uh, Amazon uh, stick. Earl Jordan has the Green Lantern Gore. The Martian Manhunter, however, in most of his iterations, has no real friends. Maybe some colleagues on the uh, detective bureau where he works as a human. And Jim Caron got away from his girlfriend after a while, so.
so the Martian is uh, known for its uh, very small row gallery but also its very small vent gallery with its own series friend gallery because well we can't say that uh, his friend gallery are, are the Justice League in this case but well the Spectre yeah he's a monster You took the last pizza slice, you will be punished. Feel my wrath. Yeah. And then you have to, uh, then you vomit out your own pizza that you just ate. Yeah. Worst roommate ever. Ah. So like I said, you can probably be uh, hearing from me after this. Where I'm going to color it. Select the one. Okay, bam, bam, bam. And there. Of course, you took it all. You took it all. You took it all.
around till uh, nah, we have some time. We have some time, but then not been. Uh, Yeah, really looks as a super villain now, right? But that so does the Spectre. Not done, but I'm going to Likely give him some uh, ice shadows as well. Mostly because that's also exception, but it will probably uh, go with. Uh, so, we will see because in this art style, art style. In this uh, st uh, iteration, it's very hard to give it some uh, leeway, of course. Mm. 
I'll probably uh, give him uh, some extra hour later. Well, for you, you will not uh, say it, but until uh, next time, and that will be in a second. Well, for me, welcome back. Where, uh, <coughs> I'm uh, continue drawing uh, the rat fall, wet rat fall. Yeah, I see some more that I can remove, but not too late. No. I'm going a bit... Uh, going for a red keep. Well, let's uh, let's go on uh, talking about uh, the red fool. <laughs> Unlike the spectre who has uh, to use a uh, human host to have his power, uh, but red fool is of course just a mod an immortal immortal playing a mortal so we have Jim Garrigan and it's how do we name that in or John Jones so John Jones the Jim John Jim I believe already the Sam. Well, we're going for the Egyptian motive, so we're going for Alex. Alex Jones. John Jones. Alex Abyss uh, Alex Adrian yeah. Let's be original Alex Adrian And well In case people don't know That was sarcastic okay, Sarcastic Alex Adrian
there, so. to a uh, smaller nope. Adrian so more dots in this case Most of the wikis say that the sparrow is one of the rogue galleries for uh, for the spectre, but yeah, I don't see that. Redfall has no uh, real secret identities. When he's unwelcome, he just moves. So in other words, he's also one of the few superheroes that are really hard to work with. You can see Spectre has uh, only a two uh, color scheme form, mostly. Well, the Martian Manhunt has three.
So, I'm so uh, busy with coloring. Um, Uh, well, making a rogue gallery of him will be fun. <laughs> Have no base at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, there, there. Of course, I think most of his villains are most of uh, Barbara curses of the those that linger much too long than was intended, but. done hope you like it not too bad now next time uh, if we're going with uh, the comics thing we're going uh, with uh, one of the broadcasts of Im imaginable marvel and likely it will be a character you have seen before Hmm. Well, I'm out. <laughs>